Hey guys, Tim here of Red Wolf TV. I've been scouring the comment section and even asked on Facebook what you guys would like us to review. And every single one of you wanted something different. And yes, one of you posted up a picture on Facebook and yes, a lot of you did like it, but we don't even have that on our doorstep yet. So I rolled a D100. Today we'll be reviewing the Tokyo Marui Detonix .45 GBB pistol. And look at them, aren't they adorable? They are based on the Real Steel Detonix .45 Combat Master, and it's just a smaller 1911. You might have seen it in a couple of movies, such as the more recent one being Thank You for Smoking, which is actually not so recent, back in 2005, and Robocop 2, and Commando, right at the back of the trailer. He doesn't even touch it. Arnold Schwarzenegger would crush this in his hands. So like I said, it's just a smaller, more compact version of a 1911. So the features you're used to seeing on a normal 1911 may have been changed. As you can see, there are three different versions. The standard one is the black one with the brown grip panel. To the right is one with a silver slide, and to the left is one with a silver frame with black grip panels. As a Marui pistol, you'd know that it's mainly comprised out of plastic, so it is very light. It does not feature a grip safety, and the bar sight is one inch further forward. I do like the solid trigger though, with the teeth in front, I like that feature. But the mag release, and the safety can only be found on the left side. Like I said, it is just a smaller 1911, so you can put an extended magazine inside. Though I don't see why you would, because you'd look like a bellend. To find the hop-up, remove the slide as you would a normal 1911, and the hop-up can be found right there. So, enough talking and let's chrono the thing, preferably that one. The chrome magazine has a capacity of 18 BBs. For this test, we're using 0.2 grams, 6mm BBs with green gas. A lot of viewers have asked whether the more recent airsoft pistols will allow for power stroking, and I know that Daytona .45 is half a decade old, but since we're here, we may as well find out. Yes, it can. I think it's about time we go to a range. We are now at Milsim CQB and Training Center at the 10 meter range again, and we're gonna lay waste to some of those metal plinking targets because I enjoy doing so. To be honest, it is rather sluggish. That's only because winter is nearly here and it's getting rather cold. Though it's still very snappy and there's virtually no recoil. I think it's time to lay waste to one of those red targets. I'm having way too much fun with this. Then I pulled it back to 20 meters to see if I could still hit those larger red targets. As you can see, it's still possible. I have to say that because it is so low powered, it really likes to take its time getting to that 20 meter point, which is why I suggest when using this pistol, staying at around 10 meters when engaging your target. Anyway guys, let's go back to the office. So, to conclude, the Dectonics .45 clocks in at an average and consistent 250 FPS, which is pretty amazing. And you can pick up targets at around 20 meters, though I would suggest staying within that 10 meter range. This would make a perfect sidearm to your sidearm. Allow me to explain. You're at a Milsom event and you are captured because you are somebody of importance, boo-hoo. And you lost possession of your primary and your secondary. But you pull out the Dectonics .45 because who knew you had a sidearm to your sidearm? And you pick off your enemies one by one and you escape. That's it folks, if there's anything else you'd like me to review, write it down in the comment section below and I will choose it for my next viewer's choice episode. So for these cool products and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. Cornstash out. 
I'd like to thank Milsim CQB and Training Center for allowing us to use their amazing range. If you'd like to know more about them, click on the link in the description below. Do subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with our latest and coolest videos.